Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Good People Show, and thank you for joining us for this very, very special episode. But before we go anywhere, let me first wish everybody a very happy Bisak Day for those of you who are commemorating the occasion. Uh, thank you again for joining us on this episode where we feature Pope Jai. Right? Pope Jai is a fantastic Thai restaurant at Scape. And as you will find out today, they don't just do Thai food, they do an entire range of other businesses as well. And because primarily they are a restaurant, we have some fantastic prizes uh, lined up for you today. Let me bring those prizes up right now and let you take a look at what will happen. That's right. So today, we've got not one, not two, but 50 mango sticky rice to give away. How do you win the mango sticky rice? All you need to do is ask a question in the comments below to the founder of Pop Jai, Daniel. If you ask a question, Pop Jai will give you a mango sticky rice. And if you ask a question, you will also qualify for a lucky draw where you stand to win two times SMB credit, $25, two prizes. So great prizes to be won today. Remember 50 mango sticky rice. All you need to do is ask a question in the comments below. Please help us like and share the show so we can spread more positivity as well. All right. The Good People Show is all about featuring social enterprises from all over Singapore, right? And today we are very, very happy to have uh, Pop Jai Tai and its founder, Daniel Tay, uh, here with us. Hello, Daniel. Hi, everyone. Daniel is a solid filler. Last night, he was admitted to hospital, but he insisted on still joining us on the show. So thank you very much, Daniel. Daniel, why are you still here? Why are you not resting? <laughs> uh, as I've given you my word, okay, that uh, I, will, I, will, I will be there. Secondly, it's also uh, to share about the positive changes that we have made in Pop Jai. So I think today is something that uh, we have too much negative news. We should share something positive as well. So that's where I am here today. I really appreciate uh, you coming despite the fact that you're recovering uh, and to keep your word. that uh, You have always been a very solid uh, entrepreneur and a good friend. So, uh, Daniel, we have to talk a little bit about the bad news uh, because it's only in crisis that we see tough yeah. people and good businesses shine. Uh, this has been difficult the last few months considering you are primarily yes, in F&B. Yes, Tell indeed. Us more. Uh, in fact, uh, it's very bad, uh, just even before the COVID. So uh, our business actually dropped uh, more than 50% uh, during that time. Uh, when COVID started, our business actually gradually dropped to about 90%. And when the circuit breaker start, we are 100% with loss of income, 100%. Tell, it, tell me more. And, how, how did that make you feel, Daniel? How did that make me feel? Um, to me, I never really think about how 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 bad it is because all my eyes is focusing on how can we break through this day. Mm, mm, mm. So uh, that is something yeah. that it means that mm. uh, hey, oh, but, since well, that our business is so bad. Please go ahead. Yeah? Please go ahead. Since our business hey, is so bad, this is that our business is so bad. How can we turn the table around? So that had mm. been in my mm. mind even before the, the COVID came to Singapore because we, we foresee that uh, gradually it will actually impact the, 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 the economy sooner or later. And indeed, uh, it actually impact uh, very, very fast just right after the Chinese New Year. So mm. um, that's so, it. Yeah. So we're going to come to your recovery strategy a little bit later uh, in the show. Yes. But I, I, I wanted to talk about the restaurant itself and your business itself. Mm. Um, when I eat at your restaurant, I am served, I am, when I go to the cashier, there are almost, I don't know, what, more than 50% persons with special needs? Uh, how, yes, how, is. why do you have this mission and, and how, how is it going right now? So, uh, yes, we do have a 90% workforce uh, in our company that comprise of the underprivileged 
and the marginalized group. So uh, how I did is that um, I actually get them in. Instead of just uh, providing training alone, why not we can actually turn that into a, a marketplace where we train them, use them, okay, to, to serve the community. And in fact, we want it to be as realistic as it is. So um, one of our mission, one of our vision is that uh, to turn into a competitive enterprise in the marketplace and, and, mm. and at the same time to be sustainable business model. Mm. And, and bear in mind that being sustainable social enterprise is absolutely not easy at all. Yep. So uh, totally there's something I always look up to the one enterprise, one enterprise in my life that uh, everything I face, any issues, any innovations, I will turn over to them. And that's McDonald's. Oh, yeah. I see. Why? Tell Why me McDonald's? McDonald's. Why McDonald's? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I learned this new word. I learned this new word uh, uh, quite some time ago. It's called McDonaldization. Mm -mm. Okay. If you have heard about this word, uh, there's someone who told me about this McDonaldization that where they actually uh, turn the whole place turn the workflow, turn the innovations, the, the business model. So uh, I, I learned from them a lot and, and that's how I do it. I see. Yeah. But again, again, McDonald's doesn't hire 90% persons with special needs. You do. Yes, of course. Uh, so yeah. we actually focus on their strength. So whenever mm. we, we mm. employ them, we focus on their strengths to, to see that, hey, instead of uh, focusing on uh, what they want, just about the, the jobs, we're focusing on how can we tap on their strengths to be in the workforce in our company. So for example, I we see. have a person who are uh, a special need, but he's very good in repetitive work. So we actually mm. use him to be deployed in our restaurants to cut vegetables for us. And, and I designed a customized shop. Yeah, mm, I, I customized design a customer driving board to actually aid him in the consistency as well. You said to me that you have eight different groups of persons with special needs of, yes. of working in port. Right. Tell me, eight. How do you get? How do you get eight? What 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 are the okay. eight? Do you have it of the? So there are right? in 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 the community. There are so many people that uh, need help. So right, I need to be focused. So, uh, so I have returned it to these eight groups where they are new fairies, mm. they are the special needs, the mental mm. health, the visually mm. impaired, mm. Mm. the uh, people who are disadvantaged, people who are disadvantaged, okay. and who are they? They can be dwarfs. Mm. Mm. Okay, mm. we have people who are the vulnerable who are sexually abused and domestic violence okay. cases as well. So, uh, this all these makeups of the whole entire workforce. So. How, how can they work together? That's the next, next thing that uh, I'm going to share is uh, mm. we tap, or as I mentioned, I tap on their strength. So for mm. youth at risk, what is his strength? One of the strength that he had is definitely they're very good in talking and smart. They are <laughs> very smart. Smart Alex. I see. So I, see, I, I, I see. use them. I use them to be one of the main workforce as well, where mm. they mm. actually uh, they have hands, they have legs, Okay, basically they can do anything, it's just about the heart. So I, I use I them to actually work that along with a special need to, to, to build the things together, to work the things together and complete a task together. So during this period of crisis mm. where you said at one point it dropped close to a hundred percent, how are you keeping your team together? I'm sure there have been some challenges uh, with regards to keeping such a diverse workforce together? Uh, yes, it is. Um, it, it does It does bring a challenge, but uh, there's something that comes to my mind is that uh, this is the time where how do we really know that a social enterprise is is shining? So uh, I personally, for me, it actually speaks very deeply to my heart that you no, know, we have to continue employing them at the same time. and finding ways to break through. Mm, so, mm, uh, mm. so what I did a crazy thing, uh, I did mm. a crazy thing is that uh, instead of me uh, laying off anyone or to to reduce their, their, their salary, what I did mm. is I employ even more. Even more. Mm. So I remember, what, what, sorry, uh, sorry, say that again. You employed even more people during this even time. Even more people during this time. Goodness. Yes. Uh, tell, why? Yes. 
So that is what that is what I'm doing for. That is what but, I'm doing for, and that is my mission. <laughs> but revenue yes. draw, you hire more people, costs revenue go drops. up. Yes. How how do you square it? Does, it? Yes, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. It doesn't square. It it, it doesn't make sense. But um, one All thing right. is, whenever it don't make sense, you have to go back to why you started it. Okay, okay, so that's fantastic advice. advice. This is why I started it because um, the very first point where I started it is to not just about creating jobs, it's about creating belief and giving them purpose. Okay, and this All point right. of time, at this very crisis, and we call it the pandemic season, it's mm -hmm. a time where we want to make sure that we still give people the hope, the hope that to, to hang on that, hey, uh, we are still there for you. Okay. Otherwise, I'm just like other businesses where the first thing I think of is about cutting costs. Mm, mm, so mm, we, mm. Should, we should actually make it possible. And, and I'm very glad that I make it possible. Later, I share with you more where um, we break through it. Okay. We, find it. we focus on breaking through it. Fantastic. So we're going to talk about Daniel's breakthrough in just a while. But if you've just joined us, welcome to the Good people show today if you like and share as well as more importantly ask questions and take part in audience interaction we have 50 five zero mango sticky rice from pop jai thai it is six dollars eighty cents off their menu worth every cent is very nice very nice and pop jai is giving out 50 to the people who ask questions in the comments below so keep your questions coming uh thank you very much for joining us on the good people show we're going to come back now uh, to Daniel and talk about your breakthrough. Daniel, you know, the, 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 the tagline of the show is uh, tough people, you know, uh, uh, break through during tough times. So what have you come up with to fight this? Um, we came up with, we, we tried many ways. Uh, in fact, we tried in Popjai, I, I strongly believe in this attitude called the never try, never know attitude. Um, so I tried many ways. Uh, we failed along the way. So uh, and I said, hey, why not? Let's go a bit deeper. Let's do something uh, creative, and yet focus with what we are doing. So I uh, the things that um, we are focusing is about food, right? So uh, I came out with uh, e-grocery. Mm. An e-grocery mm. it doesn't make sense to uh, a Thai restaurant. But yet we say that, hey, why not we turn into e grocery where we can still get our supplies? And I've been seeing that people are running to NTUC and and Simpsons like mad. Whenever <laughs> uh, whenever there is a announcement, yeah, yeah, few yeah, hours yeah. before people are rushing there for Matt. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. uh my team and I we actually came out there in 24 hours. We build a website in 24 hours, we do the coding in 25 hours, uh, we did a photo shoot in 24 hours. And we got it is it is called let me just get get my finger right it is called PJ produce PJ produce dot yes. com dot SG you heard it here first on the good people show check it out PJ produce dot com dot SG so that you can not just support pop jaya this is not just about support I personally bought some fish and I uh, they gave me some chili sauce it was delicious super fresh how I mean you are a restaurant first and foremost, so it, 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 the, the, the stuff that you sell at PJ Produce, a lot of it are from your trusted suppliers, yes, Daniel? Yes, it is. And one of the things that, uh, since you're talking about the sauce, uh, mm. I go back to it because the sauce is one of our signature uh, condiments. Mm. So I actually turn that into a product and then we can put it on our e-commerce to sell. And it's, it's selling quite well. Yes, 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 yes. So yes, that's yes. how we do Just, it. The sauce is mind blowing, mind blowing. I think it's the is it the fish chili sauce or well, uh, seafood chili sauce? I think yes, that's what seafood sauce. Right? Yes, seafood yeah, yeah. Sauce. Mind, mind blowing. Go and buy. It's exclusive to pjproduce.com.sg. It's super yummy. Uh, I when I ordered it, I think I finished it in three days. So it's incredible. Please check it out. Uh, uh Daniel, Daniel, you you also have two other businesses under the the Pop Jai, you know, private limited. Uh, Tao Chiu and mm. Pope Jai Cares. Maybe take a few moments and tell us a bit more about this. Okay, so for Tao Chiu, uh, um, so basically Tao Chiu is actually a Chashen Nayang coffee and tea uh, brewing services that mainly focus on events such as wedding and private functions. 
Um, another one that we had, uh, it's not really a business, but it's a community social arm where we do uh, outreach and programs uh, for the beneficiary. So we, instead of just employing, we want to do even more. I see. And Tao Chiu does this uh, event, uh, Nanyang Coffee, right? I mean, so, so yes, for those of you listening, I, I know we can't do events right now. And you know, at a lot of events, there are these wonderful uh, coffee carts, right? And generally, they serve like Ang Mo coffee, la, you know? Shout out to Banner Barista, who was also on our show. They do really wonderful lattes, uh, Americanos. But if you want the more uh, Nanyang style, they can look for Tao Chiu, yes? Yes. All right, fantastic. Um, we have a lot of questions, so I'm just going to ask you one uh, final question before we take uh, go into Q&A, Daniel. Uh, how do you see the future panning out? How do you see the next couple of months panning out? Um, as we came out with uh, new services, just as I mentioned, uh, we mm -hmm. came out with new services, which is island-wide uh, food delivery services. So mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. we see this growing because with that, uh, we don't just about retaining our staff. We also create jobs for taxi drivers, uh, private hire drivers, for them to mm -hmm. have extra mm -hmm. income during this a uh, very, very difficult situation. Uh, okay. We see that okay. uh, we can actually grow this, grow this towards it, as we see that in the next six months, nine months, I don't think that we recover so soon. So this is okay. something that we can actually focus on, yeah, with it. So so your your personal thoughts are that it's going to run another, another six to nine months? Six to nine months, yeah, minimum. Are you confident? that when the six to nine months is over, Pop Drive will still be here? Oh, of course. <laughs> All right. Good. All right. Good. I'm so happy to hear that. I'm so happy to hear Pop that. Pop so, yes. How? <laughs> Remember, whatever you can do to support Daniel and Pop Jai during this period, please do so. Uh, you can order their delicious Thai food. Uh, I love your honey garlic chicken. Is that right? Honey garlic chicken. That's one of yes, the signatures as well. you are right. Han honey garlic chicken. Uh, check out Pok Jai Thai on social media, on the website to find out more about how you can get their, their food delivered to your doorstep island-wide. Uh, also check out pjproduce.pjproducesg.com uh, to find out how you can get fresh groceries and fish delivered uh, to you as well. Well, okay, Daniel, we're going to go into questions because uh, we have a lot. I, I suspect it's a mix of your mango sticky rice and because you're very handsome also. Huh? So let's go into I can't questions. see the question, uh, so I, I don't know. No worries. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, uh, Shi Yi Ong asks, uh, is it because you love Thai food that you open a Thai restaurant? Um... I love food, but that's not the case. Uh, why Thai restaurant is that uh, every, at the end of the day, we are all Asians. We need to go for mm. rice and noodles. And Thai food is one of the staple food that is very close to Asia, to our okay. red taste, where it's sweet, sour, spicy. So if I want mm. to create a sustainable uh, model, right, business, definitely that's something that I want to go for, uh, I think about eight, nine years ago. Yeah. And right now, right. everywhere is Thai food. Yeah, but, but your Thai food, I must say, has uh, there are a few very unique dishes. The chili, uh, the seafood sauce, uh, the, the mango garlic uh, chicken, extremely so yummy. One of, uh, so please, one of the things that uh, in Pop Jai that is unique is not just about the, the beneficiaries itself working there. The, the unique thing is about we produce everything from scratch. Mm. Oh, meaning it's yeah. uh, cooked a la minute. It's not you know, heated up, any, uh, any of that. Yes. A la mini, even the sauce base we don't buy, we make our own mm. with the raw ingredients. That's how the seafood sauce came about. All right, all right, all right. Um, just now, I saw uh, right. Benny, who joined us for a while, ben, Benny Sito, one of our mentors and one of the pioneers in social enterprise. Hello, Chef Benny, thank you for joining us. Um, two questions, uh, Daniel. Number one, uh, do you have anybody that inspired you to begin uh, this journey? Uh, number two, uh, how do you can, how can you encourage maybe more F and B people uh, to be a social enterprise or at least offer hiring opportunities to those with special needs? Okay, maybe I go for the first question first. 
The first sure. question is, uh, is there anyone who inspired me? I think there is. Uh, one of them is actually Elim Chiu. Uh, I'm not sure whether oh. is she online here today. Sure. Okay, sure. She's, a, sure. she's a dear friend to all of us. Okay, um, she actually inspired me uh, many years ago where she, I just find that, hey, this crazy woman uh, with a very crazy hairstyle, you know, but yet she's so, she's so, she's so into it, you know, doing, yeah, doing things yeah, to yeah. help people. And, yeah. but then I said, hey, why not I go and approach her and see that how can I get started uh, sure. to receive some guidance. So she always give me a few advice. Uh, is that um, always make sure your business is must be sustainable. No money, mm -hmm. no talk. Very realistic. Very good. Yeah. So that, that that's Ilim. Ilim, uh, I hope you're watching. Thank you very much. You've been a mentor to all of us as well. Number two, you know, there are a few social enterprises, Dignity, yourself, hiring uh, the, this group of uh, our friends with special needs, uh, but that you guys are the exception more than the norm. Uh, do you think more of our F&B players can step up and, and be more socially conscious in that way? Yes, of course. Uh, uh, over these few years, I've been seeing that uh, many players, F&B industry players, are being influenced and they start to actually start small by hiring them. So uh, we see the change in it and I believe this will still continue. Yeah, mm. so uh, just to leave a few, uh, actually I've been seeing that uh, even Yakun, is even hiring some of the special needs to, to, to test pilot to see that how, how they are doing as well. So I, I have a great question from Ivan. Uh, is there, you, you have one pop joy at this point? Thai, pop one Thai? pop joy. Are you intending to expand at some point in uh, the future? Maybe not now, now, but, but at some point in the future. Uh, yes, there is plans. So uh, besides good. that, we actually want to uh, expand Tao Chiu as well so uh to okay. build that in the neighborhood because since tao chiu tao chiu is very very relevant to us everyone the first thing we think of tao chiu we think of copy yeah so uh mm. there are plans to mm. move it but uh we will see where the opportunity arise sure sure well i mean i mean i definitely hope to see your presence expand uh outside of town ivan says he would you know uh into <laughs> the neighborhood at states that could be one uh, and of course now you have uh, uh Nationwide, Isla White delivery as well, so everyone has access uh, to Pop Jai Thai. I have a one question the, from one Benedict. Of, one of, ah, go one of the facts that is that Pop Jai's don't start in town. Pop Jai's start in the neighborhood. Oh, is that uh, right? Eight years ago, we are started in the neighborhood area in Chinatown, then we moved to Serangoon, and we are just opposite uh, Dignity Kitchen. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I uh, for some reason I, I I keep thinking you're only at Scape, or you I mean you are only no, at no, Scape. No, 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 no. Previously, we are escape. previously you were. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm opposite Sing Chun, uh, uh, Dignity Kitchen, and I work with Sing Chun right. very closely as well. He also he is also another guy that actually uh, helped me a lot, where he he gave me some advice on how to work with special needs. During that time, I know nothing about special needs. I see. Uh, Benedict has a fantastic question. Benedict Ho, thank you very much for your question. Uh, what would be one thing you did differently looking back? What would be one thing you look, did differently looking back? One of the things that... Sorry, I can't understand. Uh, uh, I can't if, when, you look, when you look back, when you look back at your journey, when you look back at your journey, uh, would you have done anything differently, Daniel? Um, I would say no. I would okay. say that because okay. I, uh, okay. I, in fact, I actually enjoy this, uh, this purpose that I'm doing right now. If I were to do it differently, I think I would turn it into just uh, uh, talking about numbers. Yeah. Mm. So uh, mm. this is mm. something that we see the change. I see that how my life is also changed. Uh, people, many, many people actually say that, uh, hey, Daniel, thanks for changing uh, our life, improve our lives. But no, I always tell them no. They are the one who changed me. They are the one who mow me. Yeah. All right. All right. Something. All right, guys. We're into the last 10 to 15 minutes of the show. So your opportunity to win, not win, to uh, receive that uh, mango sticky rice is the window is closing. Uh. Every question in the comments below, uh, Pop Jai will be giving you a mango sticky rice. Compliments of Pop Jai Thai. Thank you very much. So keep your questions coming. I don't have that much time to ask so many, but, but please put it down and we'll try and uh, get to the different questions. Uh, one of our uh, uh, Gary 
is asking, uh, why did you select uh, this particular group of people to help? And do you have uh, any special stories to share, any success stories to share uh, of the transformation that people go through while working for PopJai? Uh, why do I select this particular group is that uh, many years back we don't I personally for me uh, sorry no offense I call the special needs Tai oh, that's many years back and that's me that's me so uh, and and I really realized that hey actually they are not and I felt very sorry and remorseful for the words that I use so uh, with that I actually learned to understand better you know, instead of being sympathized, I, I learned how to empathize, how to em show empathy and, and see that how we can actually contribute to, to help them. Instead of just a, a one time off help, but see that how we can actually help them along the journey. Yeah. Uh, one of a few, uh, few successful stories, basically in Pop Jai, everyone has a successful story. Um, but maybe I will share one. His name is called Anshun. Uh, okay. He's a special needs okay. guy with IQ of uh, three years old. Uh, he has never worked before in his whole life, but yet uh, he, he writes himself up very well. Uh, I designed a customized shopping board, all right, to, to help him to cut. And right now he can cut without the shopping board, without the customized shopping hmm. board on his own with great consistency. Oh yeah, he's referred by Dignity Kitchen as well. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. So, you know, so this I, is how, I, I, this is how uh, so this is how social enterprise helps social enterprise. We support one another. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And, and that is, uh, yes. I think, a wonderful new development in our industry where different social enterprises are showing the different ways that we can support each other, like how you are on, on this show right now and we, by creating the show, can help you promote uh, the good work that you do. All right, uh, tell, tell us a bit more about, uh, you know, how you're keeping your, your own spirits up and also the spirits of your team. Up, you know, keeping the morale up even though this is a difficult time. Um, <laughs> amazingly, amazingly, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I share with you is that uh, right now during this COVID season, we there is mm -hmm. many social issues rising up. Yes, yes many social yes. issues. Uh, in fact, uh, our staff strength are also affected by the because we have youth at risk, and this is a time where sure. health break goes. Health break goes. Uh, yes. But, but you will be amazed that the, the team actually are more united. The team mm. are, are, mm. are being chilled with me uh, throughout this uh, season. In fact, they have not been, we have been running a 24 hours operations. Okay, as, as we speak right now. Okay, they are running the operations, they are, they are there. In fact, they are all crazy people. They are all crazy people that keep chilling. So uh, yeah, because I'm also another crazy person. So uh, that's how I do it. <laughs> Yes, I can tell, right? Anyone else would have cancelled the show. You decided to do the show yes. from the hospital. So you are indeed very yeah. special uh, yourself. Daniel. As, as now, one last... is constantly defying expectation. So I'm constantly that's defying right. the things that's impossible. That's right. And, and even, though, even though it seems like we are in a very dark moment right now, I'm mm. sure you will constantly defy those expectations and Pope Jai will do very well under your leadership as well. I, I just have one uh, closing question before we go to the final segment, which is to give away some prizes. Uh, is that would you, what, what kind of advice would you give to aspiring social entrepreneurs uh, who want to go specifically into food and beverage? Oh, wow. Specifically food and beverage. Hey, Ray, yeah, yeah. this is a very tough question. <laughs> um, <laughs> Whoa, wow. I think, I think the whole thing is that um, you need to uh, stay focused, stay focused. In fact, maybe can I use the, the, the uh, advice that Elim give, given me? Sure. Uh, the sure. whole thing is actually sure. three things. Be DM, okay? Uh, be humble, mm. okay? And continue to do good and make money. These are three okay. things that uh, as a social enterprise, we, we, we need to balance it. Instead of just uh, focusing on social issues, focusing on how to make changes, we need to also mm. self-care and take care of our own company first, making money before we can help others. Uh, so it's a very, very, actually we can understand that, but sometimes I know so the wrong eat, so the none. But all right, all uh, right, all right. Yeah. this really built your resilience. 
Yeah. And, and and how do that. you personally how do you personally stay resilient, uh, uh, Daniel? You you have a huge responsibility and a huge weight on your shoulders. It is it is you uh, total total staff strength is. Are we looking at about, about how, what's what's your total staff strength? Give or take uh, a little bit. I give and take. I think about um the the peak during our peak we have about thirty staff strength. Right now sure. I think I have about twelve to fourteen. Okay. Okay. 12, but I mean 14. these are. These are lives that depend on Pop Jai to yes. to to you know go or carry on. So you yes. have a huge responsibility. How do you? And I know you're in hospital right now, but but assuming you know outside of that, uh, how do you stay relaxed? How do you stay focused? How do you stay resilient? Any tips for um, viewers? Any tips? I think you one thing that you have to you have to do is that you need to have a strong family support. Uh, and I'm okay. very glad that I have a very strong family support. My wife are there to support me, you know, when I can show uh, going home late, very, very late, you know. Uh, yeah, so, but one of the things that I want to pick up is that I want to share is, uh, if you go to Pop Jai, you know, one of these days after Circuit Breaker Little, uh, you mm -hmm. go to the back of the restaurant, you get to see a wall, okay? It's actually a wall of, I would say, it's, it's about how we honour the our guys. Okay, and, and mm. this, this wall is a wall of reflection for me. Basically, this wall is built for me, okay, uh, and, and the, for the reason why. Is that uh, many cases of them are very tough. Or I would say okay. uh, their stories are, uh, you, you just feel that it's impossible for them to go on. But yeah, mm. Um, mm. through me, through me, and through, the, through working at Pope Jai, they actually able to have a better living. A better environment. Uh, we don't just um, focusing just on work. We even visit them every month, okay, to sure. conduct house visit to see how are they doing. And these are the things that actually encourage me to to keep on keeping on. Thank you very much for sharing that, Daniel. One final segment, which is the giveaway segment. So, Daniel, what last thing I'm gonna help you, you get you to help me do is uh, something a bit fun. We like it to be a two-way conversation here at the Good People Show. Of course. Daniel, can you draw draw for me right now? Draw for me right now. What is your favorite dish at Pop Jai Thai? Answer in the comments below, everybody. Right or wrong answers, never mind. If we have enough uh, mango sticky rice left, we will give it to the first, uh, you know, whoever comments. Uh, and of course, if you answer, you qualify for the lucky draw as well. Okay, I say again, uh, we have 50 mango sticky rice. Uh, we will have given to those who ask questions already. If we have any remainder, we will open to this audience interaction segment as well. But if you answer, you also qualify for the lucky draw. The lucky draw, we are giving away two times $25 Pop Jai Thai vouchers. Here we go. Daniel, are you ready? Yes. By the way, by the way, right, show me. Pop Jai ah, dishes ah. are all my, dish, all my favorite dish. <laughs> all your favorite, yeah, okay, all. But within your favorite, you have to choose your most favorite. <laughs> Yeah, yeah most tough. let's see yeah. let's take a look okay I this believe, is tough huh? this believe... is tough this is tough yeah 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 yeah, yeah man, man okay let me draw let me draw uh oh i haven't drawn okay okay so ladies and gentlemen while we give daniel a few moments to draw thank you very much for joining us on the good people show we've got two more episodes left next week uh tuesday thursday 8 p.m are our final two episodes uh please come and support if we have enough support we might uh, extend the season. But for those of you that have been watching every week, week in, week out, thank you so much for supporting us. We are now going into the giveaway where we've got a mango, uh, mango sticky rice is for the comments. Uh, we've got two times uh, FMV credit from Pop Jai Thai to give away. All right, let's see. Daniel, ready? Ready. All right, show us. What is your favorite, favorite dish? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what All right. Uh, so this is Daniel's hey, this favorite is my dish. Best drawing. Yeah. Uh, please, if you get it right, if you get it right, maybe we'll give you a bonus. There's a specific dish, uh, a specific dish. So this is a category. There is a specific dish in Pop Jai that Daniel likes. Okay. All right. Here we go. Questions. Gar basil pork, garlic pork. You have. 60 seconds, huh? 60 seconds, 60 seconds to answer the question. <laughs> uh, Natalie, basil pork, no, no, all wrong, huh? all wrong at this point. Wrong, never mind. Wrong, never mind. Can still uh, qualify, but now still all wrong. All right, Mukata, 
deep fried garlic pork collar. Close, close, close. Not quite, not quite. Wow, wow, Crispy wow, wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, pork collar, almost there. How is it prepared? How is it prepared? Very specific, very specific. How is it prepared? Grilled pork, 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, <laughs> 5, 4, 3, 2, <laughs> And let's cut. We are closed, everybody. Uh, and thank you very much, uh, Daniel, for that very, you know, very basic drawing. Um, but specifically, the dish that Daniel likes is the barbecue uh, pork collar. For those of you wondering, barbecue pork collar. All right. Ah, yes, Ryan, barbecue pork collar. Close already. Close already. Close already. All right. We are consolidating the the names now for the lucky uh, draw. So. Uh, Daniel, if people hmm. want to support Pop Jai in the, the weeks to come, uh, what would be the best way to go about doing that? Oh, one of the instant ways that you can uh, support us is actually, there's two ways. One is hmm. actually hmm. goes to PJ Produce to actually, uh, instead of buying from just NTUC, come support us. Okay, come support us. We have the groceries, we have the fresh fish there, uh, vegetables there. That's one. Uh, second thing, if you need food and you really don't know how to cook, please, order from us at uh, Pop Jai Thai, you know, we can actually have an island-wide delivery, island-wide everywhere with 90 minutes delivery timing. Rain yeah, and it was quite, very simple. It's just a WhatsApp message, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Am I right? Yeah. It's your, your, almost, your, almost your entire menu is on the delivery menu as well. Am I right? Yes, the whole entire menu very is on it. Yeah. Very good, very good, very good. All right, guys, here are the prizes we're going to give away for the lucky draw $25 FB credit. We've got two prizes. Uh, admin is now consolidating the names. I think we'll be ready in just a few minutes. And for those of you that took part in the QA previously, Pop Jai will be in touch to give, tell you how you can redeem that mango sticky mm. rice. Okay. Um, Pop Jai cares, oh. Daniel. Yeah, sorry, Pop Jai. Uh, Daniel, what's up? Yeah, no, uh, I saw the questions. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of questions. So what you can do, Daniel, is later, a little bit later, if you're if you've got time, you can go and answer some of the questions uh, uh, by yourselves. Uh, if you have any questions that catch your interest, um, Pop Jai cares. Uh, that is not not quite a business, right, Daniel? That's more like your no, absolutely it's not a business. Art. Uh, yeah, so uh, I love to do community work, uh, and this is one of the way for me to distress, distress. Okay. Okay. Uh, I say yeah. So people actually distress by uh, going for holidays, but for me, I distress by doing community work. So uh, I came out with this uh, to actually uh, since this many many people will say hey, want to help. Why not? Uh, we actually have arm where uh, the general public where who been to our restaurants. They can actually help out that together. So that's how uh, the social arm was created. And we have a few programs and in it as well. Daniel, you're also active as a volunteer in your community. I think PA is yes. also quite active. Uh, I think in church, you're also quite active. How yes. do you balance everything? What's your secret? Uh, you shouldn't ask this question here. <laughs> you know, I, okay. I think our viewers want to know, right? You, you tell me you manage one Thai restaurant, uh, already shown enough already. Now COVID have to pivot to delivery, have to do grocery, but yet you're still doing all this volunteer work. How, how are you balancing all of this? Um, I think it's uh, every day I will just squeeze some time out to, to actually to, to commit to it. Because this is something that uh, we should always stay relevant in the ground. Uh, and I sure. find that uh, serving in the community is very relevant for a social enterprise. So uh, working with them, uh, we will see that how actually we can support the, the residents there or the people in need. Uh, we can res be the first responder, in fact. Yeah. I also want to, yes, speaking about that, uh, the Good People Show, we try our very best to feature social enterprises and I really apologize because we totally slipped my mind to thank our friends from Equal Dreams. Thank you very much, Equal Dreams. They've been providing our sign language interpretation every single episode. Uh, their mission is to be uh, to provide accessibility services to persons of all forms of special needs. So please do check out EcoDreams.sg. Find out a little bit more about the work the work that they do. So thank you very much, Eco Dreams as well. All right, here we go. It is now time 
to give away those $25 vouchers. Jamin, we are ready. If we are ready, let's go with the lucky draw. Here we go, everybody. The first $25 voucher, the first $25 voucher goes to, congratulations, to <laughs> Michael Quack. Michael. Well done, Michael. Well done, well done, Michael. Well done. A bit long, but well done, nonetheless. Congratulations, <laughs> Michael, and enjoy your $25 voucher at Pop Jai Thai. Uh, our admin will get in touch uh, with uh, you. Okay, one more $25 voucher. Let's go. And it goes to congratulations to Go Lai E. Thank you for joining us on the show and congratulations. Admin will be in touch with you for a $25 Pop Jai Thai FMB voucher. That, ladies and gentlemen, brings us almost at the end of the show today. I want to first and most importantly thank Daniel for taking time to be here with us. Daniel, Sisseni, thank you for, for taking time. Thank you. We, thank all you. Wish you we all wish you a speedy recovery, and not just for you, but also for Pop Jai. In three to six months, when all of this is done, Pop Jai will be standing and doing even better. So all the very best yes. to our viewers. Please support Pop Jai, PJ Produce as well. Now, second group of people I want to thank. I want to thank Eco Dreams for providing interpretation. I'd like to thank uh, my team from Adrenaline for once again putting on an awesome show. Thank you very much to, for, to all of you for working so hard. And last but not least, I'd like to thank the more than 60 of you uh, watching us on a uh, weekly basis, we get almost uh, 70 live views and about 500 views after that. So if you, any of you watching online would like to produce your own webinar series like this, please get in touch with us. We can help you go live. But today is all about Pop Jai. It's all about Daniel. We hope that you enjoyed the episode and we hope that you've learned a lot. Please tune in once again next week, Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. to the Good People Show. My name is Ricardo. Stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye.